promise, here's the laptop recommendation video for the architecture students. But if you're also planning to buy a laptop, maybe this video can help since I'm also using other softwares that are not architecture related. And the second part of the video is that I'm going to call some of my friends in architecture so that you can have other options as well. And Disclaimer, I'm not a very technical person, especially when it comes to laptop hardwares. But I'll try to give you what I currently know about this laptop since I've been using it for a year now. And my personal experiences about it. Exterior-wise, it looks attractive and what I really like about it is the motion of lights and exterior which you can also control. But if you're a fan of MSI laptops, you'll notice that most of their designs look the same. It has enough ports on both sides, though it doesn't have a CD or DVD drive. But yep, that's becoming old-fashioned I guess. I have no problem with the display. The color is similar with my phone and you can also enjoy movies and before I got this gaming laptop. Ang ginagamit ko kasi before is Lenovo and mababa talaga din yung specs niya. Basically for browsing lang talaga and that's around 20k yung laptop na yun. And diba I used to take multimedia arts kasi for a year and kahit Adobe, Photoshop, and Illustrator hindi ko talaga magamit dun ng maayos. Ayun nga, ang hirap talaga kapag walang laptop in college. Especially art courses, you know guys. So the reason why I bought this laptop is mga tito ko talaga yung pumili and my dad. And but here are the current softwares that I have now. Binili siya sa US nila lola. Since sabi nila baka daw mas maganda mas maganda yung materials na ginagamit kapag doon daw binili yung laptop. So okay. Ayun. So, when it comes to Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, wala talaga ako naging problema. Kahit sobrang daming images na yung nakalagay and kahit sobrang daming layers na hindi talaga siya nagahang, kahit sabay yung gamitin yung dalawa, okay talaga siya. I swear. And when it comes to editing, I also tried using other softwares aside from Filmora, um, Sony Vegas. And wala din talagang nagiging problema. But now I'm using Filmora kasi para ay hindi super heavy nung editor ko since that's not my priority now. Pero ayun, wala talagang nagiging problema. Sobrang bilis ng rendering. Kahit edit ko yung vlog ko ng umaga na, okay lang talaga. Itong so architectural softwares like AutoCAD, um, sa AutoCAD naman, sobrang okay din talaga siya. And I used to think kasi na sobrang bigat ng AutoCAD. Pero when it comes to this laptop, wala din talagang nagiging problema. It's like you're using an ordinary software and kahit gaano kadaming CAD blocks yung ilagay nyo, hindi din talaga nagahang yung AutoCAD. Ito, dito lang ako nagka-problema when it comes to this laptop. Nung gumagamit na ako ng SketchUp. Kasi yung SketchUp, it has this thing called warehouse. And kapag nag import ka ng gamit mula sa warehouse, may mga gamit sa warehouse na sobrang daming polygon. Furnitures kasi yung kinukuha mo dun eh. Like mga doors, ganun. Pwede nyo siyang kunin lahat sa warehouse. So kapag kumuha ka ng super heavy na gamit doon sa warehouse, tapos in-import mo siya, tapos isipin mo, diba, sobrang laki na ano bahay mo. And, kapag lahat ng gamit mo doon, ah, so, ay sobrang detail, naglolo ko talaga. So, this laptop, even though it's gaming laptop, nagka-problema din talaga ako nung gumagamit na ako ng SketchUp. Especially, nung nakaraan, diba, ay, ayan, ayan yung video. <laughs> Hindi talaga siya nagre-respond. gumamit ng loom yun. I think that's last week. I'm expecting that I'll face difficulties when I'm finally using a, when I'm finally using loom yun since, since that's the rendering software in architecture and that is known to be a very heavy software. Talaga siya nagahang sa loom yun. Ang naging problema ko talaga is sketch up. So nung nag loom yun na ako medyo smooth sailing naman siya. Pero ayun kasi kapag archi student ka 
magagamit mo din talaga ng sabay-sabay yung mga software na yon Like yung, hindi din talaga may iwasan minsan na may isang nagka-crash. Pero mostly, sketch up nga talaga. <laughs> Ayun, nagna-not responding. So, it's very important na nagsisave kayo palagi. It also has a Dragon Center and you can find different modes that allows you to adjust the fan, music, color, and etc. And a Steel Series engine where you can customize the lights and the exterior and the keyboard. Though below the power button, there are two buttons that are specifically designed to change the keyboard lights and fan speed. So many roads to go before the dawn. Just take my hand, don't let us come undone You may not see the glow, see the glow But I see it shine Keep holding on cause we're too far from dawn And I know you could be the one iistorbo tayo ng mga RQ friends natin. Tapos, sila pa yung patatawagin ko kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi ko <laughs> hindi ko makol. So, ayun na. Ayun na, hello! <laughs> um, hello po. Ito, sorry. Ayan, so, eto yung dalawa kong classmate na RQ na Super big time ng laptop. Sorry, joke na. <laughs> Hindi, ayun. Kasi sila yung kilala ko na, ano, nakakatry na din talaga mag-digital. So, ayan. Tatanungin natin sila about sa laptop nila ngayon. So, ang gan ko ngayon laptop is yung MacBook Pro. Yung mm. 2017 na. Tapos yung may touch bar na MacBook. Okay. So, yun. Uh, Dali, recommend ko sana sa inyo, guys, is huwag kayong bibili ng MacBook. Oh. Okay. Ayan, kasi ano yung, name, ano yung name ng laptop mo ulit? Rogue Strict Car 3. R-O-G. R-O-G. Gaming laptop. Strict Car 3, yeah. Ganta kasi ng ilaw. Ayun yung gusto ko dun. 100,000 galon, guys. Like kahit sketch up, di nagdalon? Hindi. Lalo na pag naka-charge. Uh -huh. Naka-performan. Parang naka-boost yung... Uh -huh. Ay, mga... Kasi nandun mga electric pan sa computer. <laughs> May ganun pala yun. I recommend it. Kasi ako parang sa computer. Kasi nga, ino-open ko lang kami sabay-sabay yung AutoCAD, SketchUp, Lumia. Kami messenger pa ako ngayon sa Project Sato. Okay naman, smooth naman yung... Problema lang, ang bilis na, ang bilis na low, ba't pwede? Open lahat ng software. Pinakain mo talaga, tapos naka-boost mode pa yung... Mga gano'ng katagal kaya? 3 hours? Gano'n? 2 hours? Oo, mga gano'n. Sa mga may pa-plano mag-gano'n. Gusto mga bumili ng laptop dyan. Tingnan nyo lahat ng specs talaga. Kahit di kayo maalam. 
Ayun guys. So, good, good investment ang lahat para sa RG students. Good investment ang laptop. I recommend ko din ano, bumili na kayo ng mga 100,000 talaga ng laptop. If kaya, if kaya. Pero okay na siguro yung mga budget laptops na maabot siguro ng mga 50 to 70. And so if I recommend this laptop, yes, I do recommend it. Especially if you're just use Microsoft softwares, ganon. And if you're an art student who will use Adobe softwares, it works well with Adobe softwares. And if you're an archy student, and if you're privileged enough to buy a higher laptop, go. Kasi good investment talaga siya when it comes to architecture. And nakita nyo naman, di ba, kahit sabay-sabay nyo buksan yung mga softwares, nagana din talaga siya, and hindi din talaga siya nagahang. Pero ayun, kapag sobrang arty nyo sa details, like, medyo magkakaproblema kayo sa SketchUp. In the end naman, it's not about the laptop then So, don't be so pressured to buy a very high-end laptop. So, hindi din naman nire-require sa architecture na lumion ka agad yung gamitin nyo. And sabi ko nga, sa lower year ng architecture, hindi pa talaga nire-require yung digital. But since it's quarantine, COVID, we're allowed to use digital presentations in design. But I have no idea about the about Nexem kung ano magiging setup. So, the disadvantage of having this laptop is the battery nga. Medyo mabilis talaga siyang malobat. But to think of it, yung classmate ko nga na higher yung laptop sa akin and more expensive, halos ganun din yung battery span. But the charger is a bit heavy. If we're going to talk about the specs of the laptop, it's very good. And okay din talaga siyang gamitin. The only When I wake up, wake up, wake up, what do you do there? Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also watch my other videos there. And see you next time. Shout out to our quad six. And to our easy friends, our pop-up hello from San Diego. Um, I'm very happy to be with my family in Lupa. Then, Yung mami ko sa friends. Hi ma, I love you. Yun. Tapos yung mga ano ko, uh, Dasma friends dyan. Kailangan nyo naman kung sino kayo. Oh. Kaya na, uh, friends ko din sa UV Lipa. Hello, hello dyan. Tapos sa ano, sa mga batchmates ko sa Lasal. Yun, hello din. Uh, nandito ako sa vlog mo, Rean. Okay. So, ayan. Gising talaga kami ng gantong oras, guys. So, ayun lang. Bye! Thank you! Bye. Thank you, Mr. Thank you! Thank you.